thank you so, so, so much for clicking on this video. The fact that you are willing to sacrifice a few minutes out of your day to consume my content really, really does mean the world to me. Guys, today we're going to be talking about ambulance. And yes, the setup is slightly different. I have moved my TV over to my lounge, bought myself a new desktop. And I just wanted to let you guys know that. So if it looks slightly different, that's the reason why. Today we're going to be talking about ambulance directed by Michael Bay and starring Jake Gyllenhaal. Now I have to say this. This movie, the cinematography was done expertly. So much so that this is actually my first 4K upload of a movie review. I was like, you know, I've got to step up my game. So this will be the first 4K upload I do. But um, I'm going to say this. The cinematography was done masterfully. You can see there was a lot of skill put into it. But was it necessarily done in an engaging, enjoyable way? Hmm. Now, the reason I brought up cinematography first is because it definitely left the biggest and most lasting impression on me. But I don't want to get too far ahead. Let's talk about the story. Ultimately, the story follows two brothers. And we get one who is a soldier who's trying to live, you know, a honorable life, trying to do things by the book lawfully. And then you have a brother who is pretty much like just the worst. <laughs> So for, for lack of a better word, um, Jake Gyllenhaal's character is the anti-hero of the film. He's definitely the protagonist. He's definitely got the top billion. You'll see him. He's in front and center in all of the advertisements, but he's definitely not the moral center of the story. Um, but ultimately, these two brothers need to go rob a bank so they can get a ton and ton and ton of cash. And ultimately, this movie is about them trying to escape. It's about their, their run from the law. And... Um, it's a very interesting concept. When I watched the trailers, in fact, I have a trailer review that's just appeared, or if you want, you can go look at the link down below. When I saw the trailer, I was quite excited for this. My mood changed very, very quickly. And why was that? It was the cinematography. Now, I mentioned that this was done masterfully. And I can tell you right now, the shots they got obviously took a ton of skill. The issue is the camera does not know how to stay still in this film. It feels like you are watching action sequences the entire movie. And while the movie is full of action, that's what Michael Bay does the best. He loves action. But this movie has scenes that should have been filmed with a steady cam or just a single still shot. But the camera is constantly moving like this. And it's very disorientating. I remember the very first time you see a still shot in the movie, I turned over to my friend Tat, who's also a movie reviewer. I looked at him. I was like, thank goodness there's a still shot right there. Because I won't lie. We went to go watch this movie in scene extreme. I was feeling nauseous. The camera does not stop moving. It feels like you're on a roller coaster. And when I usually say that, that's a good thing. But man, this roller coaster does not let up. There is never a moment where the camera isn't going like this. And there was literally a part of the movie where I just I leaned back, I closed my eyes, and I just had to stop consuming what was on screen because it was non-stop movement. And I can tell you right now, I said it was masterfully done because there are shots in this movie that someone that isn't an expert would not be able to get. There were some phenomenal drone shots. There's this one shot that I loved um, of this drone just dropping down this, this building and then, you know, taking off again. Incredibly engaging. That feels like you are on an actual literal roller coaster. You've got that massive dip. The issue is then they reuse that shot so often. And so it really does feel like you just, you can't just sit still even scenes that are supposed to be relaxing or not necessarily relaxing but just two characters in a dialogue trying to be emotional with one another it's still going like this like if you think i'm annoying right now by the way i'm moving around in this review trust me you you don't even know what it's like because you haven't watched this movie i made myself dizzy slightly lightheaded but that's actually what it felt like watching this movie Hey guys, I just want to take this opportunity to shout out the sponsor for this video, Weeb Lits. You may have noticed my own light here at the bottom of the screen. I have to say you're going to be getting great value for money here. So Weeb Lit, you can check out their Instagram profile. Tons and tons of anime lights that you can buy if you're an anime fan. But where I find myself enjoying this product the most is the fact that you can order custom lights. And that is in fact how I got my YouTube logo in light form. But also I was able to get an Optimus Prime and I can speak to the value of these products because in fact I bought one for my fiance as well. So if you are looking for something that can feed your anime addiction or you're looking for something unique and customized to you, then definitely go check out Weeb Lit. But on to the rest of the review. So I've spoken about the cinematography a lot, but I do also just want to say the action in this film is brilliant. Yes, Michael Bay has a habit of going over the top, 
But if you aren't completely drowned out by the cinematography, then you're going to be able to engage yourself with this action. Very creative, very, very exciting. And honestly, it's why you go to watch Michael Bay movies. Now, there was a period in time where I had watched Transformers and I was swearing by the fact that Michael Bay was my favorite director of all time. Now, there are some short sightings when it comes to Michael Bay. Everyone knows Michael Bay tropes and they are front and center in this film. You've got explosions and you've got attractive women. That's, that's all you pretty much need to make a Michael Bay film. Um, but yes, that, that was front and center. So you can see also there's a few other things on the Michael Bay checklist that were definitely ticked off in this movie. Um, again, I mentioned that I went to go watch this movie with a friend and the two of us were, were joking and talking about how excited we were to finally watch just another action movie that obviously won't have any, you know, SJW or woke messaging that's forced or, or trying to press spread an, ag an agenda. And um, we ended up looking at each other halfway through the movie and laughing because that's not the case, unfortunately. I am all for diversity. I say this in every single one of my reviews, but there were just several moments in this film that it just felt once again, like, cool, we have an agenda. Here it is. You're going to sit there and take it. Take our agenda. Cool. You don't want it? Too bad. And um, unfortunately, that's just what it's like now uh, watching modern movies. If you're watching modern cinema, you're going to have this agenda thrown at you. So get ready to have it once again in this film. But if you can ignore that, you just blink a few times, it's gone. It's definitely not as in your face as other movies. In fact, um, a few people didn't even pick up on it until we were like, oh, but you see this scene here, here, here. And they're like, oh my gosh, yes. So it might go completely over your head if you're not looking for it. But as a movie reviewer, you are really like looking at every single part of a film, trying to figure out what works and what doesn't work. So unfortunately, it stuck out like a sore thumb to me. But if you're just a casual viewer, you're not going to have an issue with it. And then let's just break down the performances. This has to be my favorite Jake Gyllenhaal role, except, now this will be controversial, <laughs> I loved him in Prince of Persia. Um, but this movie here really gave him something he can really dig his teeth into. There are scenes that call for him to be incredibly, incredibly emotional, and he delivers on those scenes. And the rest of the supporting cast is right there with him. The scenes that need to be tense are tense, and he's really able to just show his acting range. I will say, once again, another Michael Bay checklist item here is the need for the protagonist to always be spitting out these funny lines, or just characters in general, to always have like this funny like, like little quirk. And very often that kind of broke you out of the immersion because it reminds you you're just watching a movie. There can be some incredibly intense scenes taking place, but then a character has to make a joke. Ha ha ha, yes, we've got to lighten the mood. And yeah, that's a little bit disappointing. And then finally, the final thing that really stood out to me in this movie, there was this one scene that was grotesque. Absolutely grotesque. A character has to have his, his stomach opened up. We have to perform a surgery. You don't see anything too grotesque, but you can feel it. And I was watching this in uh, Dolby Surround Sound, and I could hear like the muscles being opened. Like, the <laughs> I don't think I've ever been so like, physically disturbed by a movie scene before but this was done so incredibly well like you felt like even though you never once look inside the body you feel like you are there's always an arm or a hand covering the camera so you don't see inside the body but because of the sound design you feel like you are right there and because of the human imagination it just makes everything so much more intense and so much more crazy so yeah, guys, that was my roller coaster of a review. I try to give you some positives. I try to give you some negatives. But ultimately, I, I truly believe that this was a complete dot-to-dot -dot Michael Bay film. Everything you expect in a Michael Bay film was here. Um, and so if you're a fan of his, definitely watch the movie. If you think everything he does is unenjoy unenjoyable, then you're going to find this unenjoyable. But guys, I really hope that you enjoyed my review. I hope it was beneficial to you. If you have any questions, put them down in the comment section below and I will answer them. Guys, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't yet. It would really mean the world to me. But you guys are the best. You are awesome. And I hope to see you again in another review. Hey everyone, thank you so, so, so much for watching that video. I really do appreciate it. If you did and you want to watch more of my content, then quickly subscribe. But I want to let you know about the podcast that I'm busy running over on Zapcast's YouTube channel. If you are a content creator wanting to learn, then check out the ABCs of content creation. And if you are a nerd like me, check out the weekly fundamentals.